In one of the previous master classes, we've mentioned tube lengthening. Today, I'd like to continue the topic. For that moment, I propose this lengthening technique for printed cotton weave. However, some of the weavers have commented that this method can be applied to rope like weaving too. The command has made me interested, I've tried and enjoyed the technique. Thanks again, my dear weavers, for your feedback, it is very useful. Today I'd like to share my ideas on how to apply this lengthening technique to two-tube and three-tube rope weaving. When I got interested in this technique and tried it, I realized that I can work with no glue at all. Well, I don't mean it is the best way of lengthening. It's up to you to choose your favorite one. What I'd like to tell you about is what I personally like about it. So, take a look, please. I was weaven in a normal two-tube rope technique. I've reached a pair of poles and cut the vacuum tube to get the doubled poles behind it. After which I take a new tube, without cutting anything, place the tube end behind the previous pole and cover the tail of the previous working tube. So, I've reached the pole, cut the tube end so that it covered the pole, take a new tube, don't cut anything, just place it behind the previous pole and hug the tube stump with it. Press the joint carefully. To my mind, the only drawback of this technique is the bulge you get in the point of tube connection. Since the tube ends are not too thick, you can fix the problem by pressing the joint. Continue weaving. Reach another tube and cut the tail, adjoin a new one and continue. If you press the joint, the joint thoroughly enough, everything will be fine. But, as you can see, some stumps are still visible. In this case, I hide them with the help of a knitting needle. That's all, the stump is invisible, I can continue. I still have to add a third tube to the corner. Let me show you the process of lengthening once again. Here is an un unpainted spot. Let's cut it off without saving the material. Here is a tube tail covering the pole. Adjoin a new tube, press the joint carefully and continue weaving. What I like most of all about this technique is that I don't need any glue. In the previous master class I've mentioned using glue. However, this item bottom has been weaving in a printed cotton technique with no glue at all. So, if you'd like to avoid glue as well, I encourage you to try this method, it can help. Take a look, please. This is the bottom I've talked about. It has been woven with no glue. If you look at it this way, you can see no double tubes at all. If you incline the item a bit like this, you can notice the joints. But in general, 
taken into account the fact that I've applied no glue and I haven't cut the tails, it is rather time and material saving. So I find this way of lengthening quite worthy. Now let me show you the technique on the example of a 3-tube rope. Lead a working tube. It is where I'm going to cut the tail. Place a new tube behind the previous pole. Press and continue weaving. In the three tube rope weaving, joints are hidden still better than in a two, two tube rope. Take a look once again, please. I've led the tube and cut the tail. No glue. Place a new tube behind the previous pole. Press carefully. And continue weaving. Here you have to hold the tube a bit. That's all. The joint is invisible from both sides. I believe I'm going to apply this technique in the future. Do you see? Here I overestimated the tube length, so I have to get back. This tube is to be cut. Place a new one. Press and continue. The joint is completely invisible. What have I got here? The tail is too short too. Unweave a bit. Cut in this point. Place a tube behind the previous pole. Press from both sides carefully and continue weaving. That's all. It is where the next cut is going to be. Note please that the joints are completely invisible.